Hey guys, welcome to the class. To kick it off, we're gonna start with the basics. So we're gonna go with how to peel an onion the easiest way and how to chop it. So one thing that drives me nuts is when you get big chunks of onions. So um, it's something that you're always gonna have and it's surprising how many chefs don't even know actually this technique on chopping an onion. So. It involves leaving the root on, so it's super important that you do it this way and you, at the end of it, you're just gonna get a much better dice and you're gonna use more of the onion and there won't be as much waste. So um, that's it. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut it in half through the root. So we've got the root here that you can see. So you can just trim that off. And where you have this part, you're always gonna wanna keep that intact because when you chop up the onion, that then is gonna hold the rest of it together. So we can go straight through. And then you can see that the root is there and that's holding it all together. And then from that point, we can peel it back. And you don't wanna use the outer one so you can get rid of this one because this one is really bendy and it's quite tough so um, it's not going to be ideal for any of the sauces you're going to make or whatever the only thing that you would use that for is to put in a stock so if it's easier to get your nail behind it you can just take the top off there and then just peel it back and that way it just makes it a little bit easier just to get your nail behind it or you can just use the knife to grab hold of it and then peel that back and then you've got your two halves and that will be then really easy to slice. Okay, so then when it comes to chopping the onion, I've got the root at the very back and you wanna pick the smallest knife. So you can either go with something like this. This is an awesome knife for pretty much everything apart from butchery. So um, it's a, a great knife, a great all rounder. But for this, I'm gonna use this one, which is slightly serrated. These ones are, are great knives, but you've just gotta be super careful with them because uh, they do, get hold of everything so it's quite easy to cut yourself but for whatever job you're doing you want to be using the smallest knife that you can so to start with we're just going to go straight down with the root facing away from you and then we turn the onion and at this point you can cut in here. This would be the way that they teach you in culinary school to do it. But you're always gonna find that you can actually just go straight down and because of the layers of the onion, that's already done that job for you. So you don't really need to do that step and that is gonna be fine enough because once you've cooked that down, it's gonna go really soft and it will just start to break down and then you're not gonna have those massive chunks. So there's really no need for that extra step. So just skip past that one and then all the way up to the root. And then once you get to the root, chop, turn it on its side so the root is facing up and then you can just chop around the root and that way you're just left with the root there and then that's another bit that you can just throw in your stock. So, and then any pieces that are too big, like if there was a piece like that or bigger, you can just run the knife through it. But that way there won't be too many pieces that are super big. So you can just pick them out and then chop them up smaller. So straight down. Turn it to the side. And this way also will help prevent from 
those tears occurring because the root is intact. Generally, the um, it doesn't let off as much of that eye tearing. balance that they have so then that's just one onion but look how fine it is and it was so easy and that's just going to cook down and become super sweet and delicious for all your base sauces so that's how easy it is to chop an onion you should really try it and lock that one down because it's going to be a big part of your cooking journey so if you can do that well it's just going to make your food taste so much better so you don't need to rush with it just do it really slowly and then when you actually do it more often then you're going to have memory and you're just going to get quicker at it so if you can come up with this technique then you've got something to develop whereas if you're just going to hack it up it's going to take you longer it's never going to be as good and it will always be the same you're never going to improve it so give it a go and i'll see you in the next one